So we'll make this um, both data-driven and experiential, because uh, what we've done uh, to try and begin this and develop this, uh, I think we can all probably learn from each other. So we'll, we'll share our early experiences, and we're happy to hear feedback as we go. So one off-label use that we won't uh, go into in detail. But what we'll uh, focus on with this talk is understanding the current evidence-based indication for device-based approaches to stroke prevention. We want to be able to identify patients that would benefit from PFO closure or left atrial appendage closure for stroke prevention and describe some of our rationale and benefits of a multidisciplinary heart-brain clinic. So we'll start with a quick case. This is a 31-year-old right-handed man, April of 2013, has a headache, double vision, slurred speech, diagnosed with ischemic stroke, started on aspirin 81 and simvastatin for secondary stroke prevention. Then August of 2014, develops right-hand clumsiness, diagnosed with recurrent ischemic stroke, Aspirin is increased from 81 milligrams to 325 milligrams, and simvastatin is changed to high intensity. And what we see here on the diffusion weighted sequences in the top row, the first stroke sort of left anterothalamic, and on the bottom row, we see a right cerebellar hemispheric infarct. So this patient underwent comprehensive evaluation for stroke mechanisms. Certainly with stroke in the young, we want to think broadly about potential mechanisms. The patient had a laboratory evaluation for hypercoagulable state, looked for lower extremity DVT, no large vessel disease, no atherosclerotic disease in the arch, wore a 30-day monitor, no evidence of atrial fibrillation. And maybe, Peter, do you want to just walk us through the anatomy yeah. here? Thanks again for the invitation to come back. It's, it's awesome to share the stage with you uh, and to be back here talking about uh, one of my favorite topics. So we're going to think back to anatomy class. And um, all of us had a PFO before we were born. This is normal anatomy, right? So before you're born, you're in a fluid-filled bag. You can't breathe. Your lungs aren't doing a whole lot for you. And so the, the heart is designed to accommodate getting all of your oxygenated blood through, from your mom.